Hi, I'm Rob from the Rangefinder Store. Thanks for taking a look at some of my recent work. And if you look in the description, you'll see the current promotion at the store. I've been working this week in Haiti. I'm, I'm on an island uh, across from Port-au-Prince, a couple hours, maybe three or four hours from Port-au-Prince. Uh, it's a rather poor area. We've been working in the hospital and working on uh, some of the poor areas with some NGOs. But the cameras that I've brought on the trip, I've got a couple of range finders and uh, also I brought an SLR. I haven't used the SLR that much, but I did bring one. I've got an M9 and a Zeiss Icon. The Zeiss Icon is just black and white film, and uh, the M9 is for the color digital stuff. The lens I found was the most useful of the whole trip was a 35 f2. It's a Zeiss Biagon. I think if you had two of those, it seems a little extravagant, but wow, it'd be great to have one on each camera because you really felt you wanted to use that lens a lot. Uh, the f2 is a little bit slow in the hospital, the clinics. There's no light and it's um, no electricity, low electricity. So the the 35 f2 isn't as fast as you might want. The the I have the sonar 515 as well it's faster but now in that room is so small there's 20 people in it it's crowded right in people are you know eating and cooking and you know in labor all in that same room and the 50 is a little long faster but it's just it's too long for the size of the room so the 35 mil is the one lens you're going to want to bring for sure if you're kind of doing I wouldn't call it street photography it's just pictures of people on streets but street photography means something different and uh, the 50 was the next most useful. I brought a 28. I got a lot more use out of that than I thought. I'm shooting today. I've got the 25 on uh, on the film camera with an 040 B&W 040 filter to get the sky darker. Uh, I haven't used the 25 as much as I would have thought. And then the 18, it's an F4, and I, I don't think I've used it at all. I don't think it's been on the camera. Also, I took a couple of shots, uh, portraits of some teachers that we were hiring for a school, and uh, just used the 85 for that. It was good for that. It's a little bit slow, 85 F4, but, um, you know, it, it, was, it was fine. There's, there was enough light there. But if you're going to go on a trip like this, and you're going to get up close, and you're going to be able to talk with the people, I've had, um, I've had Max has been my translator the whole time, and speaks perfect English and he, he's able to kind of breach with the people and and ask them if I can take their photo with the kids it doesn't seem to be an issue but if you want a portrait of uh, some of the parents and uh, adults it's it's a courtesy to ask for sure ahead of time but anyways it's been a very interesting experience and a great spot if you want to do rangefinder stuff and I think the work that they're doing down here and the work that you can do with the rangefinders at a situation like this is perfect the cameras are a little bit lighter they don't look as professional they don't they're not, they're not thinking you've got a big heavy um, digital camera but of course image quality is fantastic